Hey guys, AXL here with DGK in Kingdom 15. And this video is going to go over everything that has to do with the Alliance. So we'll start off by clicking the Alliance at the bottom. And then we'll, we're just going to go through kind of each of these things here in these menus. And uh, in the Alliance tab up here, um, there are Alliance Gifts, which are pretty much... Um, gifts that you can claim because uh, other members of your alliance complete certain tasks so this is nice to claim once in a while you'll get kind of free resources and then uh, once in a while after this bar fills you can click on this chest and you can open up uh, a big chest uh, worth of, of gifts um, and then these deluxe gift sets are basically um, you get them when people buy things in the shop uh, using real money all right um something else that we can take a look at is donations uh so donations um this happens sort of on a daily basis in fact it's one of your uh sort of daily quests that you can do and when you uh you can use crystal to donate uh, you can use gold as well um I'm just going to donate 30 so I know that I can get my um, my daily quest done but uh, you can see here the star um, I think most people know what this is but if you don't uh, when things are starred uh, when certain things are starred when you donate to that thing um, you get a uh, bonus I think it's two times uh, no plus 20 percent sorry uh, a donation reward so you what uh, what that means is you get more of these Alliance Honor Points. And um, what you can do with those Alliance Honor Points um, is go to the store and buy things. So these things in the store um, are purchased using Alliance Funds. So these are our Alliance Funds. And uh, we also earn them from, you know, donating. When you donate, you not only earn honor points for yourself but also funds for your alliance and your alliance can kind of um, purchase these and put them in the store for the alliance members to buy using alliance honor points so a couple of things in here that are really nice to buy um, there's you know speed ups there's advanced teleports march recalls um, and uh, there's rally recalls which you know you don't use as often um, only sort of in large battles for certain events like kvk potentially you might need to use one but usually uh, you can just cancel the rally but um, i like to have at least one of these on hand just in case but um but yeah i mean there's also shields that you can buy um so yeah this is a place where you can buy stuff with your points that you earn from the donation um war uh this is where um rallies will show and here perfect um somebody just started a rally and you can see here that um you can join this rally by by tapping this button and sending a march and i'm just going to actually quickly just do that it's part of my dailies i don't like to send too many troops because i end up taking the bulk of the resources um so i'll just send a little bit of troops uh, all right um let's move on uh other things in uh war there's um battles uh and events so events i believe is where like things like specter raid uh shows up um and then uh, battles is um pretty much ongoing um battles like for for example uh when you're attacking other people and or like in Thailand's or in KVK, you'll you'll kind of see um, PVP battles here, and then you can go to battle history, and you can kind of see a log of all of the attacks from your alliance. Um, so that's a nice place to to see that there. Um, so I don't actually know uh, what strategy is, but let me click on this. Nope, that's not it. Um, strategy history. Yeah, I don't really know what strategy is. Maybe it's something in the future that we can use, but um, I really haven't seen much with that. All right, Alliance Mail. Um, 
Clients' mail uh, is something that uh, leaders can do to send mail to all Alliance members. Okay, help. So this is where you can um, help your Alliance members when they're upgrading, when they're um, researching, um, things like that, so that um, you can kind of speed up their, their timer. Uh, hero store. So you can see here that you can trade hero coins for rewards in the hero store and also trade items in your inventory for hero coins. Um, but note that only R4 members and above can spend hero jewels to stock the hero store with, uh, with rewards. So it's kind of similar to this store where you're spending Alliance Honor points and your leadership is using Alliance funds to stock the store. Um, so that's a similar thing. But typically, let's just say, typically you do not really want to spend these points here. You want to spend them somewhere else. And let's kind of just look at that place right now. So in your Hall of Heroes, there's a couple of different things. One of them is called Personal Bounty. So you can click on Personal Bounty and you can see the same coins here that you can use. And you can raise bounty. And you can select one of these things to raise a bounty for. So um, depending on how many coins you have, you can select certain things in here. Um, and if you raise bounty, uh, your Alliance uh, members can donate um, these little bags here per uh, bounty parcels to help you raise your bounty and if you are successful then you will obviously get the item that you're raising the bounty for and when people donate they also gain these points these hero coins back so um, it's a good thing kind of give and take um, so uh, another thing is the line celebration um, so basically this is uh, every week um, we can select something um, to get for free pretty much from people donating um, and other things that you can do to kind of uh, build this meter up to open these chests and all the stuff is listed here I'm not gonna go over all of them but um, but yeah your your Alliance leadership can select kind of what's in this chest or uh, what you're gonna get from these chests so for us we chose uh, hero XP um, there's other things like um, uh, speed ups I think there's also um, what else I think there are those um, really rare badges the aristocrat badges that you can get as well um, these things but yeah so that's uh, that's the Hall of Heroes and the last thing um, hero achievements um, these are just uh, things that um, us as an alliance can do uh, in order to complete these missions and gain certain rewards like for example these hero coins which like I mentioned you can use to um, to uh, raise bounties to get certain items or also also to spend in that um, store the the hero store here um, leaderboards uh, you can also access this uh, through your profile menu but this is just um, kind of um, leaderboards of the entire kingdom um, but you can kind of go through that and look at it yourself but this is where you can access it so let's move on to members this one is pretty self-explanatory this is just a list of all of the members in your alliance uh, under each of the sort of tiers. And uh, we're going to go into manage. Okay, so um, donation rankings, you can kind of take a look at the donation rankings um, daily, weekly, and a history of like pretty much all the uh, cumulative score for donations. Um, there is, uh, let's see, profile. This is just our Alliance profile. Um, pretty much the same screen you can view 
uh, when you first get into Alliance right here. Um, there's invites that uh, your Alliance can use to invite certain players. Um, and there are comments um, here. I'm not, we don't really use this that much, to be honest. Um, mainly we just use Alliance chat, but um, permissions, you can kind of take a look at what each um, level has permissions to do. Um, you can kind of take a look at all of that and figure out uh, what each level can do. Log. This is where you can see a log of certain things. Like, for example, as you can see, we just had uh, three new members join. Uh, I believe they're from, I want to say, NKN. Yeah, I believe so. Um, and then you can kind of look at events. Um, there's, you know, Alliance Silver Mine that was built and, uh, you know, SWAT chose to research Alliance knowledge. Um, I, I rarely come here, uh, if I'm being honest, but, uh, and then there's battles. You can see here also a list of battles. And this is uh, more PvP battles, right? So you can see a list of kind of PvP battles that Alliance members have been in. Um, but yeah, um, one thing of, of use for the members section of the log, um, you can kind of see if there's anyone that has um, been kicked from our Alliance. I think uh, these people um i think moved over to the farm so um that's not it but there are, there will be certain times where people are kicked from our alliance and um that log is good because it shows you when they were kicked and uh, that's important because we have an alliance rule where uh we are not allowed to attack someone who has left the alliance or has been kicked um for at least 24 hours so we give them a one day sort of grace period um to be um able to move their you know castle out of there um if they don't want to get hit so uh that is pretty much it for the alliance in a nutshell the only last thing um i want to mention or actually the last thing i want to go through is the alliance building so let's do that um so a couple of uh, main buildings. So we have the fortress and then we have some alliance towers. So these towers are just used to kind of um, expand our boundary. I believe the radius that they have is um, six tiles. So uh, I guess 6.5 technically if you're looking at a point, but um, the diameter um, or the dimensions of an area that uh, Alliance Tower can, can um, I guess, section off is, I believe, 13 by 13 tiles. Um, all right, so let's go to the Alliance Fortress. And if you want to see where a particular uh, building is, you can click this magnifying glass here area. And you can click the coordinates and it'll bring you to that building. <clears throat> Alright, so here's our Alliance Fortress, and uh, you can garrison it, you can view details of what's in the Alliance building, namely, you know, who is in the uh, Alliance building, and you can see the number of troops and stuff like that, but mainly I want to take a look at this, features. <clears throat> so, as you can see, the area surrounding your Alliance Fortress, meaning, uh, meaning our hive, the boundary, this green boundary, um, everything inside of it will get certain benefits. So for example, um, if you're in the Alliance Hive, it increases the wall defense damage to a um, burning enemy estate. Um, it also increases um, the Alliance production, uh, increases the amount of resources produced by 24%. So basically that means the stuff that's in your um, in your resource buildings in your base, all of those resource buildings um, produce 24% faster. <clears throat> um, and then this one is Alliance Storage. It increases the amount of resources you can store in your Alliance Warehouse by 24%. Um, <clears throat> so there are certain buffs that you get 
uh, when you are inside of your hive. So um, you do want to make sure that you are in your hive because um, you won't get these buffs if you are outside. <clears throat> There's also other things uh, if you scroll down like um, increase the speed of gathering resources by 24 percent so there's there's some nice little buffs that you get from being within the hive and you have to be fully within the hive you can't be half out and half in that won't count you have to be fully within this green line in order for you to get these buffs <clears throat> hall of heroes um this is going to lead you to kind of kind of to the same screen as if you went through the alliance um, menu here uh, if you go to hall of heroes it's the same screen um, so that's pretty much it if you click on click on info um, it just tells you kind of what it's for um, it just a bunch of stuff uh, there's alliance celebration uh, he hero achievements and hero stature um, <coughs> and then this is the warehouse the warehouse, uh, the Alliance warehouse, allows you to store a certain amount of resources um, daily and, you know, total. So you can kind of see here uh, what the total capacity is and what the uh, daily limit is that you can send. Um, so you can see here that you can send kind of um, a certain amount of resources every day and uh, Obviously, things that are in the Alliance Warehouse um, cannot be taken by enemies. So, um, that's a nice little feature to use if you want to kind of put in like a nest egg of, you know, silver or something like that. Um, the only other Alliance building uh, that, I guess there's two more. One is the Alliance Silver Mine. Um, when you are gathering in the Alliance Silver Mine, you get a bonus. Um, so you can see up here, there is a gathering speed bonus when you gather at an Alliance Resource Building. So it's nice to send that uh, the, your troops there to gather stuff every day, kind of after reset and you're done with your dailies. I like to send you know a full march into the Alliance Silver Mine uh, to gather silver. Um, and the only other building, if it's still here, and if you can't find a building, you can kind of go to your alliance, go to your territory, and you can go through each of these, uh, especially the Alliance Silver Mine. Sometimes there's glitches where you can't see it, or maybe you just can't find it. So if you can't find it, you know, go to this um, Alliance Territory menu, and you can go to Resources, and you can click on this to find your Silver Mine uh, whenever you want. All right, so let's go back there, and I think it's under other. No, it's not. Uh, storage here, Alliance Hospital. Let's see where this is. Uh, it's right in the corner. So Alliance Hospital. Um, what this does is, if you get attacked, um, and a bunch of your troops are killed, um, the first place that your troops will go, the injured ones, that is, um, is your your hospitals so here if you go to info it'll tell you kind of what your capacity is once you are your hospitals are full um, the next place it will go is your Alliance Hospital so I believe our Alliance Hospital can hold uh, 50,000 troops um, and um, in order to heal these Alliance heal in order to heal these it actually takes uh, Alliance Honor points. So it's the same points that you get from donating. Here, this. So 50k will go here and then the rest will go to your sanctuary. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it in a nutshell as far as the Alliance goes. Um, the only other thing I will mention at the um, before I, I end the video is uh, ancient gates so every time we finish a gate um, you you have the option of you know donating here um, and by donating here I mean you donate keys um, and let me just quickly show you what keys I'm talking about uh, might be another yeah these keys ancient keys 
um, use these to um, donate and open up the ancient gate. So um, every time we're done with this um, ancient gates event, you can uh, donate here. And then once we fill up the meter, we're able to then open the gate up again the next time the event um, is open. So um, that is pretty much it. Um, you can also obviously view rankings and stuff here. Um, but yep, that's pretty much it for uh, everything that has to do with uh, the Alliance. All right, hope that was helpful. Uh, obviously, if you have any questions, feel free to put it down in the comments below or uh, message me on Discord. All right, until next time, bye.